In this video I'm going to show you how to create a very quick, a very basic graph and we're going to base it on some sales figures for the year. Right, I'm going to use the Northwind database that comes with um, Microsoft Access for this example and I'm going to create a quick query design view and I'm going to select tables, customers, orders and order details. Close it. Expand it a little. And really all, all we're interested in here is the order date field, unit price and quantity. I'm going to create a new field at the end called total sales. And in here we want to put unit price times quantity. Now because we're actually doing a calculation here, we're going to group it first and then we're going to put in the word sum at the beginning, open a round bracket, go to the end, close the round bracket and we want to change this here, this group by to become expression. We don't really need to show these fields so we get rid of them and in the order date what we want to do is we want to select the years so we want to sum up the years so here we need to type format open round bracket open square bracket just expand that a little close the square bracket comma open speech mark and you want to put y y y y close the speech mark close the round bracket Okay, now if we run that, the query has summed up the values for each year. 1994, 1995, 1996. If we go back to design now, I could call that something better. Um, year sales. We save the query, let's call it query1 and now we create a new form design view and I'm going to select the chart wizard our data source is going to be query1 and it's now asking us for our fields so we'll select both click next and I'm going to select this type of chart next next again and we we'll just do finish now there's our chart, doesn't look very good so we need to go into design and just expand it out so it's a bit bigger Now if we run it now, we can see that uh, it looks a little bit better now. We've got the years here and the sales figures here. Probably need to format it to make it a little bit better. But essentially that's how you'd create a, a graph based on a query. If we go back into the query we can see our original data against the graph. So those are the years that we created at the bottom here of the graph and the total sales are on the side and they're shown as little bars on the graph. So that's a quick example of how to create a, a graph using a summing query in Access.